We live in a fantastic universe, one that contains over 100 billion trillion stars, more than the grains of sand in all the deserts and beaches on Earth. And the distance between those stars is enormous, even traveling at the speed of light, which can circle the globes eight times a second. It takes over four years to get to the closest star. Earth truly is a tiny speck in a vast, almost unfathomable universe. Such a realization might make it seem like you, along with the rest of humanity, is unimportant, an inconsequential accident in a mindless, cold universe. But is that really the case? As scientists survey this incredible universe, they find that it looks designed for you and me to be here. Earth, our home, is just the right size for us to exist. If it were any smaller, the water so critical for life would quickly evaporate into space. If Earth were any larger, its atmosphere would retain a wealth of ammonia and methane, gases that are lighter but deadly to advance life. The water that Earth holds so abundantly behaves in remarkable ways that make life possible. It may seem commonplace, but we all know that ice floats at least ice made from water, virtually all other liquids become more dense as they get colder, meaning the solid form sinks. Because water expands as it freezes, it floats on top of the remaining liquid water. If water froze like other liquids, every body of water on Earth would eventually freeze solid from the bottom up, killing all life. Instead, as water freezes, the ice on top forms an insulating barrier that protects the life below. Water pervades the atmosphere, but the rest of our atmosphere is odd compared to the other planets we know. Instead of containing vast amounts of hydrogen or helium or carbon dioxide, Earth's atmosphere is 78% nitrogen that hardly reacts with anything. Oxygen is the other large component of our atmosphere at 21%. Anything less than that amount of oxygen would prevent advanced life like you and me. But anything more would facilitate wired fires burning uncontrollably, making the atmosphere and Earth unfit for human life. But God has orchestrated things on Earth so that it has the exact features required for us to be here. I could go on to elaborate how we see the same fine-tuning in the laws of physics that govern the universe, the dimensions forming the fabric of space-time, the timing of our solar system's formation, the timing of life on Earth, and even the DNA that makes life work. The more we learn about the universe, Earth, life, and humanity, the more we see the handiwork of a creator who fashioned this universe so humanity could live here. But not just humanity, each and every one of you. And that creator put all this evidence in place so that you can know him and the love and goodness he has for you.